Hello everyone, this is uh, your host Jessica Riksani in from the YouTube channel Civil Engineer. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I deeply appreciate uh, your support. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, uh, I do upload a video once a week. Uh, I provide uh, assistance and guidance to the young civil engineers. Uh, if this is something you need help on a personal level, please check the description below and I'm sure you can get in touch with me. With that, uh, I will dive into today's topic, which is the uh, salary, the money game. Basically, everyone works uh, to get a salary. So obviously, this is uh, everyone's of interest. So keep watching. Uh, I'll go through all the uh, civil engineering salaries, uh, obviously based in the UK uh, market. So at the end, I'll provide um, some guidance and tips uh, how to how to improve your salary um and that, that 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 helped me and i'm sure yeah that, that that can help you in the long run as well civil engineering salaries uh right so i've split it between roles experience and salary uh the the, the role obviously that depends uh, when you gain your experience so your roles goes up from the graduate to engineer assistant engineer principal and uh, director sort of level that that's that's the way I've split it yeah my my uh, presentation so for the graduate engineer uh, when it's fresh from the university with no experience with zero experience up to two years uh, the salary could be between 22 to 24 K which works out 12 pound 50 pence per hour uh, that's that's the starting salary for a graduate civil engineer in the UK uh, the next uh, after two years uh, you progress to the next stage of your career which is assistant engineer uh, with three to four years of experience you remain in the same role uh, and the salary goes up accordingly from 25k up to 27k uh, again these uh, years of experience uh, they are just a rough guidance there it could be early as well uh, depending on your performance uh, and then after assistant, you, you, you go into the next stage of your career, which is engineer level, uh, five to six years experience and the salary goes accordingly up for, from between 25, 28 to 31 K, uh, which works out, yeah, 16 pound and 15 pence per hour. Uh, after that, it, it goes up, yeah, to the se senior engineer level. Um, the experience is about seven to eight years of experience and the salary goes up yeah, from 32 to 36k in range. You get 18 pounds 75 uh, pence per hour. Uh, and the next level up is principal engineer level, which is quite a high level up yeah, in the UK base market. Um, so the experience goes from 10 up to 15 years of experience and um, so the, the salary goes up accordingly from 37 up to 45k which works out so roughly 23 pound 44 pence and after that you go up as associate director level uh, which requires about 15 years of experience and your salary goes up from between 46 uh, up to 55k which works out yeah 27 pound and eight pence per hour uh, again as said uh, these experience uh, years that they, they are a rough guide uh, so it could be different in your case, in your personal case, depending on your on your performance. Uh, uh, this the salary here I've quoted here is based on uh, quite a few authentic uh, UK uh, websites. Uh, also based on my knowledge and experience as well uh, obviously i don't want to share you my salaries there because it was decades ago and um, definitely it, 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 they were not in the same range uh, as you can see here so they were lower than that obviously over the years due to the inflation and other factors yeah um, these these goes up yeah accordingly with, with, uh, with the time you can compare your salary it could be five to ten percent variation uh, but uh, I'm sure yeah it, it should be in, in similar range if you have a similar uh, years of experience uh, under your belt uh, the uh, the next thing yeah I want to talk about yeah just to give you a few hints or tips 
how I improved my salary over the years and uh, it did help me uh, in the long run so I, I just sharing yeah, my experience it, it certainly would help you as well so let's start how you can improve your salary so tip number one keep your line manager happy this is really crucial uh, the line manager is the one who decide who's going to get how much increment uh, over the review period so in the uk market and uh, normally uh, after a year every year there, there is a uh, review period um, where, where all the salaries are reviewed uh, based on the performance uh, of each, each individual staff and the line manager is the one who recommends the increment there uh, by keeping line manager happy it doesn't mean you need to bribe uh, him or her uh, but it, it does mean that you need to make sure what's what's discussed during the the, the, the meetings the programs you, you're meeting those deadlines and you are performing uh, what is required from yourself so as long your line manager is happy from yourself uh, the, there is uh, there is a chance you will have a, a good increment in your salary by end of the year tip number two ask for salary increment simply if you don't ask you don't get it uh, so it, it, it basically linked to the first tip as well uh, during your performance review uh, and how you're performing on a daily sort of basis you can ask yeah, you with your line manager about the increment as well and that's where it's decided basically by your line manager your your first line manager that, that you, your message is going through your line manager to the financial department and by end of the year the financial department that decides how much each individual is going to get increment so certainly if you if you've started yeah that negotiation from the early stage with line manager it goes up to the end and uh, certainly by end of the year you you see that increment in your salary tip number three chartered ship this is a, a really good boost to your salary uh, normally with it with the chartered ship completion you get a 5k increment to your salary uh, but uh, it's not just with that sort of your yeah, completion of your chartered ship achieving that that goal uh, when you start as, as a graduate engineer as long you you start your career progression and you're on the training agreement the your line manager sees your progression and that's again that that's where it starts here yeah, from the very beginning and it all dictates here yeah, to that um, your, your salary at end of the year if you're performing if you're doing your your quarterly report and you you're proceeding with with your training agreement that's where the, the your line manager sees and by end of the financial year all these factors are taken into account uh, for your your salary increment and the well i've said these are three tips but these are all linked together and everything goes back to the same the tip number one make your line manager happy and with all those uh, basically all these factors if you if you bring them all together and pass on basically sharing that with your line manager that's the way how you how you keep your line manager happy uh, that's that's all for me uh, in this video uh, please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing uh, and thanks for watching